Hi everyone and welcome back to the show. Uh, up next we have a magician or should I say a sales trainer with us. Uh, we'd like to welcome Robert Mark Jacobson to the program. He is from magicofsales.com. Uh, thanks very much for joining us Robert. Thank you very much for having me. So Robert tell us all uh, are you a magician or are you a sales trainer? Yeah, actually, uh, that's a good question because I'm both. I've been a professional magician for 15 years and I've been doing uh, sales training for uh, seven years. So actually, I'm a bit of both. Hmm. So uh, give us uh, a little bit of an oversight of, of your story. Yeah, I've started doing magic like everybody else, like a kid. And uh, then I turned professional for about 15 years ago. And um, I've always uh, been fascinated by, by magic and mm -hmm. went to the world championships of magic in uh, Blackpool in the category of comedy magic this year. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't come uh, in any of the first places, but uh, I represented Denmark and did a funny, funny show. And uh, that was a very nice experience. And it's, it's amazing to be performing to over 2000 magicians and judges sitting judging you. It's a little bit more than an X Factor. Uh, appearance. <laughs> I imagine so. Uh, so you're saying comedy. So it's it's actually a combination of comedy, magic, and and presenting. Exactly. That was the category that I that I participated in. There's many categories in the World Championship of Magic, and um, that was the category that I fitted in the best. Hmm. And uh, apparently, you've come out with a few books. Uh, could you tell our audience a little bit about that? Yeah, I've. Uh, while I was uh, preparing for doing the sales training, I've actually had the goal of being a sales trainer for a long, long time, uh, much longer than seven years. Then I prepared to make my first book uh, to prepare for the material, looked at a lot of books and found out that I might have something for uh, to offer people. And then I have a great passion for NLP. So the first English book I did was NLP and Selling. Before that, I, uh, I did a, a basic book of selling in Denmark, which has been uh, very well uh, taken uh, for the Danish audience. Uh, and then thought might as well go, uh, go a little bit broader and wider and did the English book on NLP and selling. Mm -hmm. After that, I did a, a trade show book in Danish, which is about to be translated into uh, English. I don't have the title yet, but it'll come out this year. And then um, I did the sales and marketing success in your small business. Hmm. So uh, generally what you're saying is you have a, a rather broad knowledge of uh, both the sales training process or, and, and public, obviously public speaking and communicating. A little bit of comedy thrown in there and some magic. Uh, so uh, tell us, uh, why should a customer choose you for their next keynote speech? Because if you teach people something and you mix it up with magic, then people will remember it for the rest of their life. So you're more likely to get some sales tools that you actually use if you remember it in the, in the presence of magic. And that's one of the, also the metaphors that I can use and uh, piece the, the things together when I'm doing a magic show and teaching people at the same time, uh, it support each other very well. Hmm. Well, thanks very much for joining us. It's, I'm always fascinated by magicians. Uh, it's, uh, it's that mystique. Uh, yeah, it brings me back to my childhood as well. Uh, so uh, it's, it's great to see that you're bringing the magic of magic uh, to the world of corporate uh, kind of mundane uh, drudgery. So it sounds exciting. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me on the show. We've been speaking with Robert Mark Jacobson. Uh, you can check out his website at magicofsales.com. Thanks, everyone, for joining.